Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. We're in, we're using some natural light and an umbrella light. So hopefully lighting is okay. I'm here to do my Polish and Beauty Expo haul video and to talk about the Expo. And you might think, Amanda, where's the nail polish tray that you put nail polish on? That's not big enough. We have some nail polish to haul. Um, I'm gonna show you that, of course, but I wanted to talk about the, the Polish and Beauty Expo first. I also, I mean, it's like 90 today and this is just how, this is just how we're looking, okay? First of all, the Nail Polish and Beauty Expo was organized, if you don't know, by Christy from KB Shimmer. It was held in Tinley Park, Illinois. I finally got to meet Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 and her family. We've been like internet friends for <laughs> years. The Polish and Beauty Expo was as far as I know and everything I experienced, extremely well organized. I don't think there were any hiccups or any issues. Everyone was so nice. Um, I've met Christy before, but it was a very long time ago, so it was basically like meeting her for the first time. She was so nice. I got to see some of my favorite indie makers. I finally got to meet Christy from Begin Nails and some people that follow and I see their comments on my channel all the time and it was just so nice to put like names to faces and my daughter came for a little bit she and my husband went to an arcade for a while and then she came because she wanted to show off her stay naily shirt because she does a little stay naily thing on my Instagram <laughs> and uh, she had fun everything that I experienced was a great time everyone's just there for this central central interest and they're all so pleasant to speak with. There were lines, Great Lakes Lacquer's line. You know how much I love Great Lakes Lacquer probably at this point. I love Great Lakes Lacquer, not just because she's a Michigan Indie and Mariah is very nice, but uh, I, I mean her polishes like, are beautiful. And this is very evident from the fact that when the VIP uh, shopping opened at noon, people were running in and immediately formed like an orderly line <laughs> but there was not not a line at her table but at least until I left at three and I'm assuming most of the day I obviously don't know how well everyone did judging by how the lines were and everyone's tables had people at them almost the whole time that I was there I feel like everyone had a really good event the vendors were successful and who doesn't, who doesn't love to see that? I know some vendors will have overpours up on their websites. I'm not gonna list like all of the vendors that were there, but I'll have the Polish and Beauty Expo website listed and there will be a link to all of the vendors that attended on there. So there's not as much like text in the <laughs> description box because it's already gonna be pretty long. This is all very discombobulated. I didn't think about what I was going to say really other than how nice everyone was. It was nice to see Jess even though I should definitely make the time to go see her and her squishy baby more often. The meet and greet was Saturday night. There was a table set up for each vendor that you could eat at. <laughs> and then in the middle there were uh, there was a little kind of preview of what they were bringing to the event. You know, there was just lots of mingling and uh, the food was delicious. There was like a full, a full thing of food. It was like roast beef, and I think there was ravioli. There, there were there were options, so something for everyone. We did get a little swag bag at that. So we have this Polish and Beauty cup, which I should keep to drink out of. But honestly, I'm probably gonna replace my decade-old Olive Garden plastic cup that I put my acetone pads and when I remove my nail polish. I feel like this is more relevant to the cause. Oh, I didn't even really know that it's like marble looking. That's cute. Sweet Polish and Beauty quickie pen with a stylus. It's a KB Shimmer polish in here. This is called We Meet Again. Obviously I have no swatches for all of this because, oh, oh. And I don't think I'll have time to take bottle shots of everything to have this video up when I want to have it up. But swatches will be coming. My Instagram is listed in the description box. There will be swatches coming for sure, but this is, this is beautiful. It looks very purpley in here, but on my side you see a very strong blue shift. This was on the KB Shimmer table. This is a little nail polish bottle. So these are so pretty. Okay, I had a whole part here about some polishes that Amy brought me, but I'm gonna make that a whole video, so I deleted it. 
I hope you guys did not think this was going to be a short video. I was fortunate enough to attend the event as press, so I got to go in earlier, and we also received a press swag bag. Uh, there is also a VIP bag that was available if you attended as a VIP, and then I think a general admission ticket also got a swag bag. So I'm going to show you, it was in that, not, it, you know, some people think that's like braggadocious, and some people genuinely want to see it. I would genuinely want to see what people get in their bag. This is what came in my press bag. Okay? And I think they were all a little bit different. Jess's bag looks different than mine. Amy's looks a little different than mine. This is what it looks like. It's a nice, uh, durable bag. And then it says, Polish and Beauty Expo. It has these really nice uh, rope <laughs> drawstrings on it. And a little mesh zippered pouch inside. Very cuticle oils and such. Oh, I have my lanyard. There's a book. I'm pretty sure there's discount codes in here for some of the... And I actually didn't even get to go to all of the booths. So, I'll keep that right here. All right, first we have some PBE swag. Here we have a little pin. I need to find a place to put these because I have several of them from, like Orly has sent some in like a color pass. I have some others, but I need to find somewhere to put them. Maybe I should get like a little cork cord for back here to stick my pins or something. It's a little nail polish bottle, it's so cute. Uh, we have another Polish and Beauty Expo pen. We have a nail file, a glass nail file, and then a cleanup brush. Ooh, a dual ended cleanup brush. And it's multi purpose. We have some nail water decals from Rivet Stickets. These are assorted. There's like a beachy part, there's Dance in the Rain, Wish Upon a Star, I Can and I Will. Oh, this one does say Polish and Beauty VIP. So yeah, it says Be Led by Your Dreams. Um, I'll put like a, a better picture in of those. Uh, there's also a stamper and a scraper in here. The, uh, it's a clear, you know, a clear guy. I'm not great at stamping, but I have, I have intentions to stamp. We have a trio of nail care things from Leisha's Lacquer, a cuticle oil, a ridge filling base coat, and a scented top coat in white tea and ginger. And I don't think I've ever tried Leisha's Lacquer. This was a table that I didn't get to. I didn't get to every table, unfortunately. So I'm excited to try these. I love trying new top coats. And uh, I should use cuticle oil more. So it's nice to have plenty of options for it. From Dark Moon Essentials, we have the Lunar Ultra Moisturizing Emulsified Body Butter. And it smells like, it smells a little like melon maybe? I want to say cucumber melon, but like it reminds me of that, but it doesn't smell like cucumber melon. But this would be really good for feet too, because it feels kind of thick. That's going to be good. Ooh, it smells, maybe it is cucumber melon. It smells good. Soapy Chef. I don't think they were there. Uh, this is a soothing body balm uh, for cuts and bruises, sore muscles, or use for relaxation. Oh, this smells like lavender. Mm, but very mild lavender. I don't think it's overwhelming. I personally love the smell of lavender, but I think this is a mild enough scent that you would not be offended by it. There were a few brands that were not in attendance that still had stuff for the bag. So I'm going to pull those out. This was Mojo X Cosmetics, who I have never tried. This is called Hypnotize. And this is a really pretty purple. Uh, Different Dimension was a late cancellation. I don't know why, but I mean, it doesn't matter. If you can't come, you can't come. Stuff happens. But if this is a reflective, I mean, you can see the reflective in these like umbrella lights. This is called Lake Hair Don't Care. <laughs> kind of glad Different Dimension wasn't there because I would have purchased a bunch of uh, This is Saki Cosmetics. This is called Autumn. And this is a really pretty autumnal orangey shimmer shade. I've never tried of or to be honest heard of Saki Cosmetics, but I like the bottle. And this looks really pretty. Uh, the last one was uh, by Vanessa. Vanessa. Molina and it's called Fairy Wings and I've never tried this brand either. This is a, a kind of an icy blue with multi-chrome flakies and like silver glitter I think. 
I'm gonna take all of this out so I'm not rustling in the bag and I'll be right back. So we have Sweet and Sour Lacquer City Dreams. I'm not gonna to attempt to describe all of these. We would be here for years and the descriptions would be inadequate anyway. As I mentioned before, there will be swatches coming. I, I might in, you know, maybe a month or whenever I get the time and have swatched all of them do like a follow-up video with swatches. There'll be better swatches coming, but <laughs> for now, <laughs> this is what we're getting. So this is called City Dreams. This is really pretty. And I also wanted to stop at this booth and I didn't because she has such fun glitter shapes. That's where I got the shamrock glitter. She has umbrella glitters. She has the, the fun glitter shapes and I just didn't get back to her table. Moving from Alchemy Lacquers, this is called Jake and Elwood. I don't know that reference, but this is a reflective glitter. Oh, oh wait, can you see here what's the difference? You can't because my camera sucks. But this is beautiful. It's bluish and silvery and reflective. Still not still not over the reflective. We have one from Kathleen and Co. I have a I think we have one from this brand. Um, and it was one that I wore because I did a 10 brand Skittles <laughs> manicured because I, I couldn't choose just one polish, so I just did a, a Skittles of one of every brand that I had in attendance at the Polish and Beauty Expo. I, I have more that were in attendance, but I only have 10 fingers, so I just kind of chose 10 random polishes. And Kathleen Co. was one of them, and it was the Cherry Blossom polish. It was beautiful. This is called Cloud Gate. This is another reflective, and this is like ethereal. And you can see the reflective in this one too. I think probably because it's a lighter color is maybe why you can see the reflective more than like the darker one maybe. We have one from Poetry Cowgirl Nail Polish. This is called Shy Town. This is a an oil slick type of color. This is this is not a color that I own a lot of. Crystal Knockout. This is called Park Life. This is a neutral, but it's pretty because it has uh, multi-chrome flakies and gold glitter in here. Oh, and they also had really cute earrings. Uh, my daughter bought a pair because she can take her piercings out, I think in September. And she's like, I gotta get some different earrings that I can wear. And so she bought some little donuts. She really, she really liked those. We went from Voyage. This is called Chicago. Oh, it's a thermal. Oh, it's a solar thermal. Oh, okay, so this is a solar thermal. I'm glad it says that on there because I never would have attempted that. Oh, this is pretty. It's like an orangey with a gold shimmer. An orangey. Kind of a reddish orangey with gold shimmer. We have one from Bluebird Lacquer. This is another table I did not get to. This is called Have a Field Day. Um, and this is a silver with like rainbow multi-chrome flakies. I love her labels. The, the blue bird. It's so pretty. I've become such a bird lady as I get older. <laughs> I move on from Atomic Polish. Another table I did not get to. This is called Chicago Loop. This really vibrant raspberry black cherry chutney color. I don't know. This one from Katie Shimmer. This is called It's Under the Sauce. Uh, which is beautiful. It's pinky, neutral, shimmery, green, shifty, I, I don't know. Lola is the key for all of these. Uh, two from Swamp Glass. One is their milky base coat, which is a milky base coat. I'm like, I, I don't feel like we need to take that out of the box. And then this one is called Mew Mew. What's a Mew Mew? And I don't know what that means. My husband thought it was a thing, but he said, as soon as I pulled this polish out, he was Oh, that's a cool polish. It's a green to red to orange multi-chrome, and there's matte blue hex glitters and then larger like, copper flakies in here. It looks like it's gonna be a nightmare to accurately capture, but beautiful to wear. <laughs> but I pulled that out and he goes, oh, that's a cool polish. And I asked him, are you making fun of me? Because this is the first one that I opened. I said, are you making fun of me? <laughs> and he goes, no, that looks really cool. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, yes, it is really cool, but normally you don't care, so. We have one from Fair Maiden called North Avenue Beach, a really pretty sky blue with this rosy micro shimmer in here. This is really pretty, too. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That pink, that shimmer. We have an eyeshadow from Copacetic Cosmetics. This is called Walking on Air, 
And I've never tried their shadows. Uh, they were beautiful. I did buy one. I could have easily bought more, but they were also very affordable. They were $5, which I don't think is much for an indie eyeshadow. This is a really pretty sky, like shimmery sky blue shade. Yeah. That looks lovely. We have a polish from Girly Bits. This is called Hell or High Water. And this is a linear holographic mid-tone blue. Pam is so cute. I love Pam. She's like so nice. We have one from Aurora. This is another table I didn't get back to. Their display was so cute. They had a nail polish Ferris wheel for their display. I didn't touch it because I didn't want to break it, but it was really cute. <laughs> this is called Deep Dish, so it looks like pizza. Red with shreds of assorted colors that you would find on pizza. Black, orange, red, green, white. That's really fun. We have one from Psych Minerals. This is called Mystery Number 30. Ooh, an oil slick color. There's some holographic in here. I never tried that bright night. One from Rogue Lacquer. This is called Razzle Dazzle, and it's a purple Rogue Lacquer. I almost didn't even want to go to their table because I just wanted everything. And I didn't buy everything, but I wanted everything. <laughs> oh, this is a purple, I'm not going to describe it. It's called Razzle Dazzle. It's purple and it's beautiful, and there's flakies and glitter in here. And if you've tried Rogue Lacquer, you know her flakies are amazing. And then lastly, we have one from Great Lake Soccer. This is called Love at Tin... Well, it says Tinsley Park, but I know she means Tinley Park. And I can't even tell you how many things I had to correct my phone from changing Tinley Park to when I was typing it. It didn't get it right any time. It said everything except for Tinley Park. Love at Tinley Park. And this is beautiful. And Look at that wad of flakies in the back there. I love the flakies so much. So that was the press bag. Let me clear some space, guys. Okay. Let's do this. So this is everything that I bought. I literally, I haven't even opened it. It's Tuesday that I'm filming this. I haven't opened it since Sunday. We just got in the car and came home, and yesterday I was just... Okay, so these are from Sassy Sauce, who I don't think I've ever tried before. If I have, it's been a very long time. I guess I should also say, I went in blind. I kind of had an idea of what some people might have been bringing just because I was seeing pictures in the Facebook group, but I didn't go in with the list. I didn't want to be disappointed if I couldn't get something. I wasn't going to fight anyone for anything. Not that anyone was fighting, but you know, I wasn't... I just thought... I'll go to these tables and I'll get what I get and I don't get upset. That was my plan. So I, I didn't have anything in mind when I got in their line and I saw this polish and I am not normally drawn to red but we can clearly see that this isn't a normal red. This is called Chicago Fire and this is one of the event exclusives. I wanted to get the exclusives from every table because those are the exclusives. Those are the ones that you can't get anywhere else. You know, they might be on the website if they didn't run out of them, but I thought, if I have a plan, my plan should be get the exclusives. Well, I failed that. Just, just failed it, okay? I saw this and I was like, wait, this is beautiful. Look at this red. So I definitely wanted to buy this, this polish. And then I saw this and it's called Spill and Tea and it's like a holographic multi-chrome flaky what I it's it looks beautiful um you can't really see man this video is going to be terrible you can't see the color shift in these it's shifting from green to gold to red to everything and then there's pinky purple flakies in here it looks absolutely gorgeous um and then I grabbed one of their shiny top sauces because I think they they had a special like if you spent $25 you got a free drawstring bag or a free mystery polish so I think I needed to spend the five to get the, the mystery polish and so I just had my daughter pick one which was this one and I haven't opened it yet so let's see what she picked it's hideous I'm just kidding. Ooh, okay so this is from the June 22 2022 PPU is called Spin Me Right Round Baby. This is another super shifty glitter polish. All right, good job, Avery. Good job, Avery. And their little business cards are so cute. They have 
little punch out so you can swatch on them. That's so cute. I don't know. Oh, this is Girly Bits, okay. Okay, so these are from Girly Bits. This is called Hot Chicken Summer, but it's this bright orange with yellow and pink matte glitters in here, and then there's like a reddish, like a red orange shimmer in here. Oh, it looks so pretty. And then we have Honky Tonk Blues from the Honky Tonk Blues collection. This is a matte green, pink, blue glitter, shifty, multi chromy polish. But I loved the matte glitters in this type of polish. I thought that was super fun. And then we have Sparrow of the Dawn. This is from her concert series, and this is the Greta Van Fleet inspired polish. I really like Greta Van Fleet, and this polish. I was like, whoa, what is this polish? This is beautiful. And then I saw that it was the Greta Van Fleet polish, and I thought, oh, I think I will buy that. That one's beautiful. This is Holographic Ultra Multichrome. I'm not even going to try. Like, I'm not even going to try. Pam is so sweet. I've met Pam before, and it's been several years since I've seen her, and she's so sweet. I mean, I didn't meet anyone who wasn't sweet. Everyone was so nice. Oh, yes. Okay, so this, this is the Copacetic Cosmetics eyeshadow that I bought. It's called Centennial Wheel and it's, I'm going to take it out. Hold on. It's this crazy orangey pink. You can't see the orange. You can kind of see it right there. So shimmery. She was wearing this at the meet and greet and I said, oh wow, there's this little kitty sticker. I have a bag down here for recycling and I'm just ignoring it completely and just throwing everything on the floor. So I bought this from Bygone Apothecary. This is uh, their event exclusive scent. It's called Kitty Hawa. Uh, and she made a sample while I was waiting to take pictures of her booths because I felt like I should take pictures of people's booths since I was there as press. I still didn't get to all the booths before I was sort of like running in. And I thought, oh yeah, that smells really nice. It's kind of fruity and floral but very lightly fruity and lightly floral. She said it's blackberry and magnolia. But I kept smelling it on my hand for an hour or two after she had applied it and I went back around to the booth and I said, I would like to buy this. So uh, I've never tried anything from this brand, but the lotion felt really nice. It didn't feel greasy, but um, I could smell it on my hands, which I like. Uh, so this is Rogue Lacquer. The first is called Yellow There. This is a small batch. It's a mustard with matte black flakies. There's no way I could say no to this. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna move you back here, guys. More room for polish. Then we got Dust Nato. This is from the Summer Storms collection. They just pack so many flakies into their polishes. I don't I don't know how to describe them. Shattered Lightning from her Summer Storms collection, and I love the shattered polishes that she does. Again, they're just absolutely loaded with flakies. This one is silver and looks like purple and blue. And then we have Gone Rogue in Chicago from her Chicago trio. I, kind of, I mean, I wanted the whole trio, but you know, you know. So this is a purple, green, blue, red. Just just assorted everything. Oh, m and Someone, some of the brands had candy at their table, and I was like, yes, I'm sorry. And I forgot to eat my m and You're going in the swatch drawer for later. I mean, I'm not gonna swatch them. I'm gonna eat them while I'm swatching. I had to get the What's Up Nails exclusive. <laughs> it was beautiful. It's called Glowing Cave, and this is a flash reflective polish, and it is, I mean, An essential purchase. I did go back to What's Up Nails later when my daughter showed up because um, Chrissy wanted to meet my daughter. So uh, she was really busy at the time so we, it was just like hi bye. But while I was alive I was like oh wait I want to buy this stamping plate. It's called Wakey Wakey Eggs and Bakey and there are little food things on it. There's macarons and bananas, donuts, avocado, donuts, pizza, popcorn, eggs and bacon, fruits and veggies. Just a really cute stamping plate. And I think I officially own two stamping plates now, so am I a stamper? Definitely not. From Crystal Knockout, she had a tray that was $5 because this is her old bottle and this is her new bottle. So I bought one of the, the old polishes called Light It Up. Uh, and this is like a gray base with, this might be a Christmas polish actually, but it looks really pretty. It's got red and green and silver assorted uh, glitters and flakies in here and 
I mean, it's almost Christmas. Oh gosh. And then I bought Lantern Splendor, which is, I think, I'm not sure if this is a topper or, I think you could build this up. It's a shifty red, orange, green, but a lighter color. And then there's some iridescent flakies in here too. Uh, Kathleen Co. I did buy a couple from her. She had the, I can't remember what she's calling the series, but it's like women of, women of 80s rock. It's called Atomic. And it's a pink with a very strong orangey, yellowy shift to it. Oh, well, my daughter, where did hers go? My daughter bought one from her too that I have to find. Well, I bought it for my daughter because she's eight. She doesn't have any money. I also bought Aquatic. This is from a different collection. I'm not sure. But a, a shifty blue. I was trying not to buy only blue nail polish, but that's what I'm drawn to. So there's a lot of it. And then this is called Shebop. This is a silver with black and um, multi-chrome flakies in it. When my daughter came in with my husband, we were walking by this booth because uh, we were going to get to somewhere, I don't know. And she goes, I saw a polish that I really wanted. Can we go back to it? And I said, okay, yes, we can. And this was the one that she wanted. So this is called We Got the Beat. And this is a Barbie pink with uh, red, orange, green flakies. She's already worn it. She loves it. I'm definitely going to borrow it from her. Alright, I do have two from KB Shimmer. I don't know why I didn't buy more from KB Shimmer. As I've said before, KB Shimmer is a brand that I tend to ignore because I just want everything. The first is from their just at Water Collection, I believe, and this is called Rock the Float. It's this bright pink with a very strong orangey, but also blue, green shimmer. I, I don't really understand how shimmers work. And then I had to buy Opes and Dreams, one of her event exclusives. Uh, this is a reflective polish but um, it's called Opes and Dreams, so it could have been absolutely hideous and I probably still would have purchased it. Luckily, it is not hideous. It's beautiful. Um, I did stop at the Fair Maiden table. I wanted their event exclusive, which was called Deep Dish. It looks like pizza toppings, but beautiful. There's also a blue, like a blue-purple shift to this, which you're not seeing, but it's a, a multi-chrome. looks like it's absolutely packed with flakies and goodness and I haven't tried a fair maiden in a long time. Uh, they also had a five dollar mystery so I grabbed one of those. I haven't opened it yet. Let's see what it is. Ooh, this is called Nebula. This is a prototype. I think all the mysteries were prototypes and this is a green to blue. They were doing flower crowns with purchase. Hold on. And so of course my eight-year-old wanted a flower crown and I, I didn't want to say hey I was here earlier can I get a free flower crown? We just, I just let her pick a mystery polish. And so as I was opening it, I said, what color do you think it is? And she goes, oh, I don't know, probably poop brown with my luck, which she's eight. She practically poops rainbows because she's eight. You're lucky at everything when you're eight. And I said, I mean, okay, whatever. And so I opened it and it's this beautiful, it's almost like a rose gold, super shimmery polish. There's holographic glitter in here and just all this sparkle. And she was like, of course, it's poop brown. I said, <laughs> this is not even close to poop brown. <laughs> but it, it is funny that this is probably as close to poop brown as you could get. I mean, this is a beautiful nail polish. And brown, I mean, I love brown nail polish, but I just thought it was funny that she got like probably the most neutral polish that you could get. But like I said, she's eight, and if it's not bright pink, yep. I did wait in the Great Lakes Lacquer line. None of the small batches that I wanted were left. <laughs> so I just grabbed what I could. This was the Sirens of Lake Superior. This one is called Amy. It's just ethereal looking. We have those green mums though. And this is like a celadon green with blue purple multi-chrome flakies in it. I did get her event exclusive which is called Chill Less Shenanigans. And this looks beautiful. And she has two, she had two, um, I'm not sure if these were event exclusives. I think they were. This is called Make My Mango, this really bright orange with red yellow shimmer. And this is called Summertime Watermelon Everything, a bright pink with a strong green shimmer. Okay, I'm almost done. I promise. I, I did buy my daughter a keychain from Twisted Rose Designs. Twisted Rose I believe what it's called. And this is Christie's 
daughter. She makes these beautiful resin keychains. She had so many. And she also has coasters too. But my daughter wanted this one because it's got rainbow colors. I've seen these in polish pickup and I've never purchased one. And I could have purchased multiple of them. But honestly, I don't even have a key ring. So I don't need them. But she can put it on her backpack. It's so cute. Okay, lastly we have by Danny Viana. I did know going in that I wanted a lot of what she was offering because I just love her polishes. I love all of these polishes. But I, I don't know, I just I really am kind of enthralled by her brand. So her one of her event exclusives is called Verdant. Oh, this was a PPE gift with purchase. Oh. I thought I bought it. Anyway, this beautiful Kelly Green with a gold shimmer and like also green shimmer. <laughs> Okay, she has new caps too. They're um, beigey colored. They were gold, but I think the gold was chipping. Uh, so she went to a different cap. An event exclusive called Lavender Dreams. This is a lavender crowley with star, circle, and crescent moon glitters in it in assorted like metallic colors. There's gold, looks like silver, and I think the there's a darker gray. So cute. So cute. I was chatting with her in my DMs before the event. And she is so nice. Uh, and then I also purchased Moonstone, which I will never be able to capture how beautiful this is on my nails because my nails just aren't long enough. But I still am going to try. And this looks like, looks like a Moonstone. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I did purchase her Painter's Collection. There are six polishes. We have O'Keefe. And this, oh, is this a flash reflective? Oh, it is. Well, I'm trying to, you know, I don't put pictures of my daughter online, I not because I hate her, but, you know, it's my kid. Or my lock screen is of us, so I was trying to hide that. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. There's also black glitters in here, which I just, you know, I'm never not obsessed with black glitter in anything. I just love it so much. And then we have Clint. I mean, Clint. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh. This looks beautiful. Uh, there are large flakes of glitter in here, and there's green and red and gold in this mustardy yellow. I'm not really up on uh, art, <laughs> so I've never heard of that artist, but it's okay. We have Monet. This is like a water, it looks like a water color. Color. Large, like iridescent flakes in it. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. I think that she is one of my favorite newer indies. Or she's newer to me. I you know, I know she's not a new indie, but she has a Renoir. Ooh, this is a green with multi-chrome shifting flakies and then a goldy shimmer. I'm butchering these descriptions. And then we have Van Gogh. Oh, this is another flash reflective. Let's, let's flash reflect it. Wait, are there blue reflective glitters in here? Oh my gosh, there's blue reflective glitters in here. <gasps> and this is another kind of oil slick color. And then the last one is called Portinari. I'm probably saying it wrong. And this is a white with um, multichrome flakies. And I think, I think that's it. White with multichrome flakies. I'm not really sure. So yeah, that's, um, I've got to swatch. But I mean, that's not even all I have to swatch. I also have another nail polish haul that will be coming. I feel like for a while, I wasn't disinterested in nail polish, but I don't know, I just felt not as rabby for some of it. And then something just like relit the nail polish fire in my soul. That's my Polish and Beauty Expo haul. There will be swatches coming. Like I mentioned, I might try to, I don't want to swatch them and not wear them. I want to wear these things. so. Like a recap of these swatches will be a while. We'll have plans to do that at some point. And if not, there will for sure be swatches coming to my Instagram. If you attended Polish and Beauty Expo, please let me know how your experience was. If you took a picture with me and you want to post it anywhere, for some reason I'm not getting tagged in things on Instagram. I don't know why. I'm finding tags that are weeks and weeks old that I was never alerted to. I'm only finding them when I happen to go to someone's profile. Like it's just sheer coincidence that I've even found the tag. So if you took a picture, 
I know a couple people took pictures, which is so nice and it's so sweet that anyone would want to have a picture with me. That's so silly. You can just DM the picture to me. If you attended, I hope you had fun and please let me know what you purchased. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in my next video.